<laughs> Why am I brushing my hair here? I feel like the video is kind of slow. Who else is noticing like my my voice and everything is slow? <laughs> hey hey people. So if this is your first time of coming across my channel, my name is Christiana Akuru and I'm a wig, a hair and all of that. I'm a stylist and I make wigs, I make hair. If you're joining me for the first time, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a wonderful comment. Today is our first wig class. The reason why I'm going to do this class as professional as possible is because people are going to actually watch this video after this class. I'm going to release this video after this class. Is this going on? Is this going on? Beth, I don't understand. Is this going on hair or what? Can you can you see me? Because I can hear. I, I don't understand the question. I haven't shared it yet. Please, can you help me share it? It's because... Okay, is it going on right now? Yes, it's going on right now, Beth. It's going on right now. It's 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock now. It's going on right now. I've started so for the privilege of those who are going to watch this video at the end of this video i'm not going to be introducing people thank you so much sweetie god bless you please help me share pardon my i look kind of be right back love you love you love you love you love you to the moon sweetie god bless you i love you so um for the privilege of those who are going to come across this video later my name is christiana akuru and i'm a professional wig maker and here today it's my professional week mm -hmm. class that I'm having here today. Yeah, guys. It's my professional week class that I'm having here today. I basically have the intention to teach women how to make week professionally. And today we're going to be doing a little bit of backup story about week, talking about wigs, the origin of wigs, not really like the deep origin of the people in the uh, in England who wear wigs. No, we're going to be talking about the origin of wig making from um from black women you know that's what we're going to be talking about today first of all so the class is going to be a seven weeks class on every sunday 5 p.m i'm going to be having this class here with you all and in this class you are not allowed to call me host you're not allowed to write host you're allowed to call me prof <laughs> that's what the class is all about so let's get started as soon as possible so first of all what we're going to be doing here today is i'm going to be introducing the origin of wig making or of wig wearing from black women and why do women actually wear wigs because you can't learn something that you don't know anything about so if you're just joining me you're welcome i'm not going to be greeting people because i want this video to be a clear replay so i'm not going to be helloing at you all just write your comments uh tell me when you come around just say your name uh you know interact with the rest of the people yeah welcome everyone so i'm not going to be welcoming everyone as i said please if people join the class in the class please i can't make you i can't i don't know if i can make moderators here let me see let me see if i can make moderators here use uh add moderator okay i can so i'm going to make some of you my past moderators and if i make you moderators please there's something i really want you all to do for me what i want you all to do for me is today when you join the class People that are going to come after you, just help me to write and tell them that I'm not going to be greeting anyone who comes into the class along the line. I'm just going to continue talking and showing the things I have to show while we go on. You understand? Please do invite people if you're just joining me. Do share the video on Facebook. Everywhere you can share the video. Oh, hi, beautiful host. Thank you so much. And when people come around, please tell them to call me prof today. I'm not going to be called host. <laughs> so let's get into the class. So if you come across the class in the middle and you don't understand from where we start just watch the video the video is going to still be on replay so you can actually go back there and watch the video anytime any day so let me first of all introduce myself and talk a little bit about me so you would have a little bit of knowledge about who is actually teaching you how to make wig so my name is christiana akuru and i am a professional wig maker i am not a wig styler there are two different things between a wig maker and a wig styler Hi, good afternoon, Ogo. People who style wig are those people you see maybe on YouTube or Instagram 
who put their chair, they are got to be glue, slaying the hair out, the hair out of the wig, you know, doing some baby hair and crazy okay, stuff. Okay, okay. Those people are wig styler. They are, maybe they are professional wig styler. I am not a wig styler. Yeah, I can style my wig, but I am not a professional wig styler. I am a wig maker, which means I am into the art of wig carve. That is what I do, which means I make the wig from foundation. Putting the webs into the cap, that's what I do. So these are two different things that you need to know. So what we're going to be learning is wig making. So we're going to do a little bit of background story about wig. First, we're going to talk about why black women or women in general wear wig, actually. Why do women wear wig? So reason number one why women wear wig is, is they wear it as a, as a protective hairstyle. Protective hairstyle in the sense that when you have a braid, cornrows, or your hair messy and you want to go out, you can wear your wig as a protective hairstyle, which means you have your hair in cornrows and you put your wig on and your wig would protect your own natural hair. So one of the reasons why women wear wig is to wear wig as a, prof as a protective hairstyle. So this is one of the reasons. The second reason why a lot of women wear wig is to change their look. That is another reason why women wear wig. For example, if you've been watching me, you know sometimes this is my first time of actually wearing a very flashy color because it's summer and I'm, dry, I'm daring to wear poppy colors, you know, colors that pop. In summer, it's good to wear flashy colors. So if one of the another reasons why women, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be responding to your messages. Please, if you're here as my moderator, make sure you are writing the people who are joining after that I'm not going to be responding to uh, accept questions i'm only going to be responding to questions and i'm not going to be reading out comments except their questions because i want this video to be as clean as possible so that when people are watching the replay it is not them watching me actually respond um calling out names of people or hailing out people because this is a wig class okay so another reason why women wear wig is to change their look, you know, to spice up their look. We are women and we are beautiful creation. And sometimes once in a while we want to switch our look from this to this, just like I'm doing today. Another reason why people wear wig is sometimes most people have some type of sickness or whatever you may call it, that they are losing their hair and they want to cover up. So they go ahead and they wear wigs. Another reason why women wear wig is that I actually had, um, I watched a YouTube video and I discovered uh, a group of women, whom Arab women, whom wearing a wig is a tradition for them. So they actually wear wig as their tradition. Now I'm not talking about the origin of wig from the beginning in England and all of that. I'm only talking about the little bit of history of wig around women of recent time. So now that we know the reason why a lot of women wear wigs, let's go into wig making. And the things you need to know about wig making. First of all, if you don't have your pen and you don't have a book, I would like you to grab a pen and then I would like you to grab a book so you can write down some of these things you're about to hear today because these things are very important and are one of the things that are actually going to help you in your wig making. Okay, so please moderators help me to write down what I told you. If someone just joined the chat, Help me to welcome them so that they know that I actually acknowledge their presence. Please do help me to welcome them and stay with me here today. Okay, wow, let's grow. Okay, guys, so you guys remember the I did uh I did a giveaway and I said someone won my giveaway. I've sent the wig. Let's grow, and she's telling me thank you. I got the wig that you sent to me. So I sent the wig to her and she got it. Thank you. So, guys, please do not forget, do not forget bless from sweden okay yeah i send it to sweden i send the week to sweden uh please if you, if you will just help me to do a little video and send to me so i can post it so people do not think it's an audio giveaway so let me quickly go back into the class guys so as i was saying there are a lot of things you need to know before you start making a wig wig making is a very very difficult job but sometimes when people already know how to make needle and thread, thank you, Miss Larry. When people already know how to use needle and thread to sew hair to the webs, they just believe that is the art of wig making. Wig making is more larger beyond that. 
so if you guys don't know the class the class is supposed to last one hour 30 minutes so we've spent 10 minutes so far so so you have it in mind thank you so oh my god african new tv thank you sir for sharing me out i'm so grateful all right <laughs> okay so uh, bev is congratulating let's grow so let me just explain guys so i want to tell you the foundation of wig making when you are making a wig there are a lot of things you need to know you need to know that making a wig is more than meh how should i put it okay yes i was not welcoming people but he shared me out and i just appreciated him so as i was saying guys wig making has a lot to do with calculation and a lot of people do not know that when you're making a wig you actually need a tape for wig making you need a tape to do all of your measurements so first in this class i am going to be saying it so that is why you need a pen and you need a paper to write this down you need to write down all of the things you need to have if you have the intention to learn how to make wig so one of the items that you need the most important item that you need when you're making a wig is the tape i'm sure this is the first time you're coming across this i'm sure this is the first time you're coming across someone telling you that you need a tape for wig making yes you do need a tape to become a professional wig maker or to make a wig that should really fit professionally you need a tape for your client or for yourself so this is the first thing that you need like i said i have a video where i talked about the the accessories that you need for wig making which is the wig uh, the dummy head and all of that now tailor work yes we can we class or should i say wiggers also need a tape it's not only for tailoring and i'm going to show you why you also need a wig or maybe it might not be in this class maybe it might be in another class but i'm also going to show you why you need a tape now let's get down to the main the main thing so if you already know the items that you need to make a wig you know that you need something you need to put your dummy head on top you need something you need to put your cap uh, your wig on top you need your needle you need your thread you need your marking pen mm -hmm. if you're a learner you need a marking pen to be able to get right the wig now the thing we're going to learn today is the measurement how to take the measurement of your head this is a very important part you need to know how to actually take the measurement of your head this is the first thing we are learning today before we go into learning how to actually now i'm going to use this um as an example okay i think i'll take another one uh, i'm bringing a video on this for you guys so let me take this out Welcome to everyone who's coming. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay, guys. Pardon how my baby Ella is looking. <laughs> Pardon the look. So, guys, um, I have it. So today we're going to be doing measurements. We're going to be measuring uh, the cap. How to measure a weak cap today. Sorry, I have a message. I'm just checking. So, let's assume this is the head of the wig you are using. The head of the dummy you are using to make your wig. This is the head. So, first today, I want to teach you how you can take your measurement of your wig. I have messages coming in and I don't know how important I should put off my phone, I guess, to avoid any sort of distraction. Okay, guys. So, first of all, when you want to make a wig, you need to ask your client. If your client is far away 
or they are close to you and you want to take the measurement of the head of your client you want to know what size of head your client has you want to know what size of head your client has you need to, if your client is far away tell them to get a tip if your clients are close to you or you are the one who is measuring yourself get your tape yourself so from the back of my head i'm going to put my tape right here i hope you guys can see i'm going to put my tape right here not on my neck so you take your tape you put it behind your head like i did and you bring it forward don't forget i have a wig on right now you don't have to have a wig on when you're doing this measurement okay because it's going to add one one inches now first of all i want to use my head okay i want to use my head because i want you to understand but let me use the dummy for demonstration okay now this is the the reason why i wanted to use my head is that you would need to use a head for the measurement before you can check it on your door so you're going to need your head so you need to take the measurement from your head like this without your wig on you have to take off your wig and place your wig your your tape like this sorry you need to use the big side of the tape the side that has the big numbers not the side with the small numbers the side that has the big numbers not here but here so you need to place your tape around your head bring it to the front make sure it ends at the front and place it this way let the last number here meet with the number one and take it out and check which number you have right here i have size number 24 because i have a wig on if i don't have a wig on my head size normally is 23 so you need to be able to know your head size as a person so that when you're even buying a wig on the online or from anyone you can tell them the size of your head and if they are professional they will know which wig to make for you so first you need to take a measurement of your circumference which is the run of your head you need to take the measurement and mine was reading 24 but normally without a wig my head is 23. now some people head is 25 some people are 24 some people 22 some people 23 so it i have come across clients with head 20 to 25. now if you are using if you are working on a client please if you don't have your pen you should have a pen and a book you cannot just be listening to this without having something you're writing this on so you can go back to your book and actually check some things and you know what you have there so a client head that measures from 20 21 till 21 and a half you can use a cap that is written s which is small a client head that measure from 20 21 21 and a half you can use the cap that is written s which is small you can use a small cap eh, sorry cap for such client who has that head size if you use medium if you use large or extra large it's going to be too big for such a client even if the elastic band around the cap sizes the head of the client the middle of the cap is not going to fit the head of your client so have it in mind that either your client or you or whomever you're making a wig for that has is a head that is measuring 21 20 21 21 and a half i'll tell you the reason why i did not add 22. you should use a cap that measure s now if you are already a professional you can play around to use a small cap for 22. but if you are not the phone is sounding like it's about to go off but if you are not a professional please do not play around for 22 with a small cap because you might not know how to control your sewing of elastic ending up making the wig to become too big so stay on the safer side by using a small cap for any head that is from 20 21 22 and a half i'm sorry 20 21 and a half don't use it for 22 now if you have a hair that measure from 22 
23 and half. 22, 23 and half. You are free to use a cap that measure medium. Use the, the dummy to demonstrate. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is this. Like this dummy head that I have here. You can see I have three. I have about four dummy heads that I use to make my wigs. I have about four dummy heads that I use to make my wigs. Now, each of these dummy heads have different size. This one that is here is measure size 22. This cap is measure size 22. Now, if we measure this cap with our tape around... Have you seen it? It's giving us size 21. You remember I told you this cap, this, this dummy head is 21. But because I'm a professional, I can play around using this dummy cap to create any size of a wig. But if you're not and you want to buy a dummy, make sure you buy size 22 so that you can stay on a safer side. So using a dummy, using a dummy head to measure the, 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 the cap is very difficult and it's so complicated. That's why I'm explaining to you by the cap. I don't know if you're getting me. I'm explaining to you with the cap because your dummy head sometimes has nothing to do with your wig making. Your cap that you use is the most important thing than the dummy head. These are two different things. If your dummy head is small and you have a big cap, you can play around with it. You can stay on the safer side. You can still use it and it will work out. You understand? But if your dummy head is even big and your cap is small, it makes no difference. It's, the cap is small, the cap is small. So what I'm trying to say is from 22, 23 and a half, you can use medium to make the wig and you will stay on the safer side. 22, 23 and a half, you can use medium. Now from 20, 23 and a half to 24, you can use large. The cap that is written large. It doesn't mean that you cannot use any of this cap, like switch any of this cap around by using them. But the truth is that when you are making wig, it is better to use the right cap for the right head to stay safe. It is better you are using the right cap for the right head to stay safe. Because if you feel like, oh, I want to use large to make a head that the circumference is measuring 22. It's not like it's not going to work, but the wig is not going to lay. Because you would have excess cap in the middle, which will create some bulkiness in your wig. If you use a bigger cap, let's say a cap that is large, to make a wig for someone whose head is 22, it might fit their head, the circumference might fit their head, but the wig cap itself here, you would notice that your wig is popping up. Your wig is not, even when you try to pull it down like this, your wig is not going to lay down. That's because the cap you use is not the right cap to be used for the type of head you've used that cap for. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So today basically we're learning, we're trying to learn about the types of caps to use for various head size. So from the beginning, like I said, I said, size 20 21 and a half you need to use small cap small cap irrespective of any type of cap you're using whether you are using the match cap whether you're using the normal net cap whether any type of cap you are using please for 21 20 21 and a half use small cap it will fit them perfectly their wig will just snap in. It will snap in like you, you, like they were born with the wig. Except if the person did not get right the measurement of their head. But if their head is measuring the size I told you and they use the tape to measure it the right way, they are going to get it. Now, now that we've measured the circumference of the head, you have to also measure something else. You need to tell the person to use the tape to measure your ear to ear which means uh oh <laughs> sorry guys i'm gonna take my camera down a little bit which means you need to tell the person to measure from here to here of their cap of their head 
So let's take that. Let's start our tape by putting it. So we're using our tape starting from one. Putting it here. One. Passing it on top of the head. Taking it down. So if you measure like this, it's giving you 13. Some people would have 13 here. Although I've never seen, I've never come across anyone who has above 13, but I've seen people 13, 12 and a half, it's not up to 13. I've seen some people who have, I've seen some people who have, I think, 12. I've even some, seen someone who has 11 and a half. That's why you see some people, when they want to wear their frontal wig, they will cut some SS cap from this flap. I don't know if you've come across people wearing frontal and they have to cut it. So when they measure their, I think because of the front of their head is very small, they end up cutting out a lot of cap. So the reason why you want to take this measurement, you want to take this measurement only if you are making a frontal wig. If you are, okay, Sandra says she has seen it. She has seen people cutting out wigs from here. The reason why they are cutting out wig is that their ear to ear is small. Like my is fully, is my own is 12 and a half. You can take your time to check your own at home to know how many you measure. Some people have even have 13 and a half. Okay, that's the reason, Sandra. Sandra says she doesn't know why. That's the reason. The reason why people are cutting off the SS cap is because the wig comes bigger. The, 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 their ear to ear is smaller than that of the wig where the manufacturer actually made. So if I'm making a frontal wig for you, in as much because my wigs are ready to wear wigs so when i i already got your measurement and i know that you are not up to 13 i will already make sure i cut out that part for you let me make an example with this braid wig i'm making this is a braided wig for a client it's gonna be super long you can see how long so this is a braided wig i'm making so the client who owns this wig i already took the measurement of their head and as you can see I already cut out. Sister Algo, thank you so much for sharing me out. I already cut out the SS wig size that is here. So if this client gets this wig immediately, they will just snap the wig on. Because they will not have any reason to start cutting off the SS wig that is by the side here. I hope that makes sense. Okay so let's continue now you need to take that measurement another measurement you need to take number one don't forget measuring around the circumference of the head that's the first one measuring around the circumference of the head you need to get that then measuring the ear to ear of the of the head now you want to measure the front of your head to the upper side of your head which is from here now let me tell you the right place you want to measure i'm coming now we all know that when we wear our wigs as women even if this is the first time of you wearing a wig oh i'm hot it's so hot in here i have a fan here but it's still very hot we all know that when we wear a wig from where our part starts to where it ends is here now a little bit above where that part ends, which is just like the upper part of your head like this when you put your head straight when you're sitting down straight just sit down straight make sure you put your hand in the upper part of your head you can find where the upper part of your head is just here so you want to measure that part you want to take a measurement of that part upper part of your head yes you need to take a measurement everyone has a different one so we all have different score just sit down upright don't put your face up too much don't put your face down too much or your face to the side just make sure you're sitting down upright and put your hand you can get the upper part of your head is just here so take your tape i'm going to tell you why you need to take the measurement of that upper part i guess i already explained why you need to take the measurement of the ear to ear now you want to put your tape right in front where your wig will stop you are the one who knows where your wig would stop or where you want the wig of your client to stop so take a measurement to that upper part of your head this is the upper part of my own head and this is right where my wig is lying. This is where my, my wig is starting from right now. And this is it. 
And for me, my upper part of my head is six. The upper part of my head is six. Now I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why you need to take a measurement of this upper part of your head. Some people, all the upper part is four. Some people, upper part is five. We all are different. So let me use the manicure to explain why you need to take the upper part of your head. Now, when you're making a wig, you remember that you start, when your wig cap is on, you come like this, line by line, you're making your wig line by line. And when you get to somewhere here, you have to stop. You see some people start going side by side, side by side. Now, this particular place has a different way of making it, which I'm going to show you along the line of this class. Because the wig has to start coming like this and end here and like this and go here. It doesn't have to come this way anymore because you've already finished this side. The reason why you're creating more hair here is because if the upper part of your wig is too flat, your wig will not have a fitting. Notice that sometimes you see some people, the back of their hair here, this place, as you can see my own wig, you can see that I always make my wig. This, is, this wig I'm wearing is a handmade wig by me. I always would make my wig and I allow this place to be a bit higher than the rest part because when you are standing like this, no one sees the upper part of your hair. So when the upper part of your wig becomes too flat, it's boring. It's not cute at all. It's not beautiful. Like, I see some people wear a wig and this upper part of their hair is so deep. It's so deep. It doesn't give beauty. It doesn't give fitting. So you want to add more hair in that part, which we are going to learn as the class advances. But I'm only telling you the reason why you need to take a measurement of that part. Now, the next measurement you want to take is at the back of your neck which is this the back of your neck please if you don't have your pen you don't have your book i might not um i might lock this video till i finish my class and release all of the videos the same time so please you need to take your book take your pen i might not leave the replay on my uh youtube channel for now i might lock it up until i finish my class and release everything the same time so you want to take a measurement. Can you see how this stuff is carved? That's almost like the shape of human head. So you want to take the measurement of your wig cap like this from here to here and get how many? Now, let me show you. Okay, this is saying five, but mine is actually five and a half from my own head. But from the manicure, it's saying five. The reason why you want to do that is this. Sometimes you will notice that when you wear a wig from the back of the wig like this, is not fitting it's lifting it's lifting i had i had that with a client recently who was explaining to me and telling me oh uh the, the down of the wig was not fitting very well that's because we didn't get the measurement of the back neck of that client when you didn't get the measurement it's very difficult and where they wear the wig the wig will be lifting the wig will be lifting on that so for these first classes we are, we are basically doing like theory we're basically explaining the things you know, before you start a wig, sometimes you just jump into wig making, but you really need to know the foundation. Like these are the foundations that you need to know about wig making before we start doing practical. Before I start showing you how to do this, how to do this in a more steady motion. But if you don't know the way to measure your wig, you will do it all wrong. In as much as we all want to make our wigs or we want to have it as a business, you also want to try to learn it the right way, which I'm trying to explain to you the reason why you shouldn't do this, the reason why you should do this. And if you do this, what is going to happen? If you do that, what is going to happen? So now we've learned all of the measurement skills that you need to learn. Now I'm going to tell you the best cap that is the best for a beginner. So, I hope you guys can see this cap I have here. For me, this is the best cap for a beginner. This is the safest cap a beginner can ever use. If you're starting your wig making new, do not go for the other cap that has like ho-ho and, stra and straps at the end. Don't go for that one. Because that one, the measurement is very difficult. And because it doesn't have elastic band, sometimes you will sew it and it will be too tight it won't even fit your head a lot of us when we started we had this problem 
we had this problem and you know it it made us lose a lot of weeks that we've made before so measurement is very important what we've learned here so far we learned about the history of why women actually started to wear wig because why i'm teaching this class is that i want to teach everyone this class so that when you learn it tomorrow you can learn it as a professional and then when you're talking about what you do you can talk about what you do and you can defend it it's not all about making of wig like i told you i am not a wig styler but i'm a wig maker there are two different things i don't style wig you know as much as i can style my wig my own wigs but that's not what i do what i do is i make the craft of wig like taking webs and putting on caps that's what i do that's what i learned so now that's what i'm here to teach you i'm not here to teach you how to use got a to glue your wig how to style it or how to slay your baby hair no that's not what we're here to learn today so now let's move to the other stage of this class let me first tell you the things you've learned so you don't forget first of all we learned about the history behind women wearing wigs secondly now we're learning about measurements how you should take the right way to take the measurement and thirdly we learned about how to the right caps to use for the right measurement that's three and third she thought or fourthly we learned about the type of cap that is more safer for a beginner i'm checking my time as i'm doing the class because i don't want to do the class um and pass those time so i'm going to be taking a lot of uh, some questions if you have questions you can ask me but the only way i'm going to be taking those questions is the question must be on that particularly what we've learned today the question should must have to do with what i talked about today it shouldn't be something else because if it's something else it might be something that i'm going to future in our more advanced class so guys we've what should i what do i want to say we've, this is what we want or i really want to talk about today this is the part i want us to learn today so basically now i'm going to allow you if you have any question to ask me partaking what i've I've thought today if there's something that is not clear to you, you can ask me i'm going to read out your comment or your question loudly and answer it so that if someone come across the video they would actually know the question that was answered that i gave the answer to <laughs> i hope that makes sense so if you're here in this class and you want to ask me a question about what i've said so far please prepare your question and ask me before your questions start, start coming I'm going to talk a little bit more about wigs in general. For me, I believe that wigs are a very beautiful thing that every woman needs to know, at least to have a little bit of knowledge of how to make. Because you guys know that if all of you know how to make wigs, we, we will not eat again. Yeah, so definitely we also want to be in the service of offering the service for everyone, right? But still, I feel like if you know how to make a wig, you'll be able to choose the right wig also. Like, it will be a plus for you to be able to choose the right wig and all of that. So, Sandra say, I do make my wigs alone. That's a very good thing, Sandra. And I'm happy that you're making your wigs alone because now that you're about to learn, you would be able to learn more. All my wigs I put on, I make it myself. That's very good, Sandra. I'm also going to check it out. So, if you have more questions, Please do uh, ask me your questions now. I'm here to answer you and tell you <laughs> everything. So, Viana's Beauty say uh, on someone's hair. Okay, sweetie. I thought it was a question. So, if you have a question, please put it out there. Only here. Only here I'm learning more tips. That's good. I'm happy you're learning more tips to add to whatever that you already know. So, now that we've moved from the measurements, the types of wigs and all of that if you know if you know that you are really interested in this class because we're going to be advancing in this class like we are going to be advancing we start learning we start learning the, the way to the right way to put your web sandra i think that's the one you need to learn as time goes on and the right way to actually stitch your wig people a lot of people do not know i have like five different ways that you can stitch your wig a lot of people do not know that some people just still sew any way, way they like place their wig you understand so if you want to learn all of this and you think you're ready please after this class write a comment on the main video i'm going to record you can send me uh, a dm on my instagram at stuttgart hair boss i'm going to write this somewhere stuttgart hair boss yeah i'll put it on the description of this video 
Stuttgart hair boss so that I can add you to my WhatsApp or something like that. And then if there are more questions, you can bring them there and I'll treat them here in the class. And the classes are going to be every Sundays by 5 p.m. My time here in Germany. So because whenever I say European time or Eastern Europe time, uh, Vienna lives in Ireland and we are not using the same time and she's still in Europe. So sometimes I get confused and I don't know what to say. So guys, um, this is all I want to talk about today because we have a lot, a long, a long way to go. We have a long time to go. I think I'm just going to basically make the class and not put a particular time of how long we would spend. I feel like I'm just going to do it in a way that when what we are here to learn is finished, we skip, we stop, and then we continue, um, we we'll continue the class some other time also. I think I'm not going to do it maybe one hour or two hours. So basically, this is what I want us to learn today. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should just gist in the end of this? Or you? what do you feel? Because I only want today, I only want to talk about the history, the measurement, and um, what's it called? The history, measurement, types of cap to use for right measurement, and then the cap that is safer to use. That's the only thing I really want to talk about today. I don't want to talk about, I don't want to complicate everything for you guys. I don't want it to be too complicated. Let's just about the history and measurement and the types. Good, Sandra. So, Sandra, bring up your question. If you have, Sandra, say, let's just about the history and the types and all of that. So, let me tell you guys a little bit of story that I know so they won't be missed up. Okay. So, let me tell you guys a little bit of uh, history that I, that I learned from school. When I was learning how to make wig in Italy. So there was this story that we were told. It's a kind of a bazaar story. That we were told. Um, we were taught in Italy. Or we were told. No sorry. We were told in Italy. About these English people who actually started wearing wig. So most of them used to be monks. I think you should have topic. You choose to take every one time you have a class. Yes sweetie. But like what I said. The class I. To like each class I have in mind what i want to teach on each each class normally if i wasn't teaching it here on youtube maybe how long it takes veras from time to time veras veras of as in of making a week how long uh i think we haven't got into that yet like that's what i'm saying like each class has we're going to be advancing as we go on today we're only talking about the measurement the history behind week cap and how the right caps to use and uh, the the right one to use the right cap to use for each measurement and the right cap to use to stay on the safer side so normally on week classes those are the first steps that you need to learn so and that's where you need to leave it i mean your class would take different times yes i mean your class would take different times yeah i don't think i get the question Oh, no, I don't think I get what you're trying to say. Like, my class will take different time. Should it just have a particular... Do you think we should leave it on a particular time? Because if we leave it on a particular time, we will start learning because of the different topics. Some will need more time than others. You are very correct. That's exactly what I want to say. You get it. Because, yes, you're so correct. Like, today is just an introduction of recap, measurement, and all of that. It's not a question. But I get you, sweetie. I understand it perfectly. Like... Because of the different topics, some will need more time than others. You're very correct. Like today's own needs a very little time like this. But when we advance to practical now, it's going to take more time. Sometimes we need two hours or one hour, 30 minutes to talk, to do the practical classes. So you see, this one is taking lesser time because we just had to talk about these few things. So like I was saying, the history that they told us about wig making is that in those days back in england there used to be all of this monk and all of that you guys know monks now monks are like this the fathers that like they don't used to get married and christians and stuff like that so in the ancient time in those days some of them whenever they commit a sin you've seen them in movies where they weep so they own take 35 minutes because it's intro god bless you so bev is saying today's own took only 35 minutes because it's intro you guys think we should just end there or we should just just a little bit to make it one hour because the most important part is when someone come across the video and they start the video we started on a good ground so they will just watch it till when the class start stops and if they are interested to hear our gist then they can hear our gist 
or i should just end it i don't know i don't know what's the right thing to do <laughs> when it comes to that aspect i don't know so you guys should suggest give me suggestion right what you think what do you think do you think it would be more nice to just end it now you know since it's a class and since we people might be using it in the future so let's just end it because or i can edit it what do you guys think you can take the video and edit it and then cut it up to where i want people to watch and then i can put it back let's gist thank you bev god bless you bev like gist <laughs> I need your hours. Yay, baby. Yay. That's my girl. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, you need your hours. Yes, girl. You're correct. So I want us to make it one hour. <clears throat> so now, guys, let's go straight into the gist. They talk, they go. Okay. So they were telling us about this, how these uh, monks, whenever they commit a sin, they shouldn't commit. Maybe they look at a woman's behind or they saw something, their eyes should not see they will start whipping themselves like a way of tormenting or of cleansing their sins and some of them will start using razor to cut or knives to cut their head uh, inflating wounds on themselves and you guys know that when they now want to go to service or to who come for class would hear the first part and can leave if they know won't hear our ideas nothing do you thank you so when 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 the monks are they start cutting their head and after cutting their head they thought of what they could use to cover those scars or all of those things for people not to say not only monks like in those ancient george and uh, these um people i don't know what they call them you, you watch those kind of movies now where those people wear that their yeah, big wig with not the ones that lawyer wear that they roll those other big ones Okay, Sandra, have a good day at work. Okay, so I'm not going to be reading out the comment host after work, but I'm playing you might not comment. But okay, okay, Sandra, thank you. So guys, as I was saying, they would wear the wig. Someone needs my pink wig. It's summer, so I'm going to be popping some colors. Like, I have some colors wig that I didn't wear all through the winter, but now that it's summer, and also because Bev dared me. I watched Bev's video where she where she wore a very flashy color wig oh, and i loved it and i decided to go and bring out all my colored wig hair in egyptian society men and women commonly as clean shave or close chopped hair oh the comment is going that's what i was talking about so the comment would just go i won't be able to read it the ancient egyptian created the wig to shade shave hairless head from the sun yes that that's like one of the histories behind wig making like when i came i talked about the history behind women mostly black women you know wearing of wigs they have another history you know i, I also talked about the arab women who wear it as a tradition and there are different history everywhere there's another history that people actually wear it for ritual sake ha if we wait which is this one i'm explaining from is that this for ritual like the, that ritual they do on themselves they will now wear that wig to cover themselves to cover their head for people not to actually see all those things they've done so if you are there watching me right now and you know me and you are laughing at my makeup right now you are laughing in your mind at my makeup i know you people are laughing at me I had to put Miss Larry's video today to be watching to create this look. I did it since morning when I wanted to do because it's I didn't have that spray, you people spray. Welcome to YouTube Live, okay? Okay, I didn't have that spray that you people spray. I think that's why it's like this. But I just tried my best and I I'm, I know I'm diverting from the topic, but I just want to quickly remind you guys about this makeup. Because I know a lot of you are looking at me and you are thinking, why is it too white like this? hi african new tv is back thank you so much for coming back so i had to put miss larry's video the one i could not do i tried but it didn't work out so i have to mix it up is uh, this um cutting of craze crease oh, you got the guys call it uh, these guys will not keep me crease you didn't use pri i use primer oh. i use primer i use primer i used in in ancient if both men and female wore wigs either from human hair 
chips or uh, vegetable fi uh, fibers depending upon their social statue you are correct african new tv is back like i go to that place and i feel so happy whenever i go there african new tv say happy sunday to everyone if you guys have not been to african tv channel before i don't know what you are missing you don't know what you are missing just try and go there one day and you will be so entertained so guys um who has want to really learn wig making who has thinks it's fun because for me the way you guys see your makeup as fun i see wig making as so much fun it gives me joy whenever i'm making wig like i was i was making this one today I've not finished here. I've not trimmed it. This one is going to be super long. Eh? It's going to be 32 inches long. Like it gives me so much joy whenever I'm making a wig. Let's see. Once our video is one hour, I'm going to like cut it off. It's almost one hour. Do you guys, I, I was thinking of making these classes early Sundays, but I feel like if I'm making it only Sundays, won't people forget what we've already taught this Sunday before it's next Sunday? What do you guys think? Won't people forget? Or maybe I should do it two times in a week, Seth. Sundays and Thursdays, or Sundays and Wednesdays. I need suggestion. Please, guys, some of you are holding my thumbs up. Give it to me, oh. So, the make Vienna, you people are not saying anything about my bra. It's not good, Abby. Beth say we should do our eye like this. If we know our our brass and all this, we should do it like this. So I did it like this. We know how to draw it, but still I don't know. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I I feel like I'm not in a good mood, but uh, all is well. Madam, people, go to go to school class once a week. Go the bra are better than mine. Madam, people go to school class once a week i be oh so once a week is okay the brass are okay once in a week is okay hey thank you i think once in a week is better so that those people who have learned can go and practice so who like this hair i'm wearing no. who wants who wants maybe these are not roots who wants hell who wants hell i'm short of gist once in a week is okay african new tv is just showing me love 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 god will bless him for me you guys should look at my cup okay so if you don't know i have a team with cups <laughs> who does that i have a team with cups fine cups make me drink when i'm not tasty <laughs> So, what do you guys want us to gist about? Don't stress yourself. If going live twice a week, will, when do, when will you create content? Abio, Abio, my sister. So that I can, I can like now nah, tomorrow. I'm really, I'm, I'm normally I used to put out content tomorrow. I have a content I'm putting out tomorrow. So going live, I'll be putting out content maybe two times in the weeks, in between the weeks. So why should I go live twice? Except just for gist. But every Sunday, you people should know that 5 p.m. is for me. It's for me. All of you should just carry yourself j -j 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 and come and learn how to make wig. I know very soon people are going to discover the class and more people are going to start coming. I can't wait for them. Okay, like I said, I know that the makeup is not too good. But do you guys think I should continue practice or I should just stop? Since it's looking not too good. You, do you guys think my natural face will be more better? Or I should keep practicing. Hey, somebody uh, double Liz is up. Uh, um, she's uh, unboxing Samsung, Samsung twenty twenty S twenty. Check. So guys, tell me because the notification just pop up on my screen. Makeup artist in the house. What do you guys think? Look at the eyebrow. I know they are not sisters, but yeah at least we'll go go no we we'll go at least at least we we'll go just no sunday 5 p.m 
is class. Perfect makes perfect. Practice make perfect. I be sister of God. So I keep practicing. But I'll practice but whenever I have to come, I have to tell people that I'm practicing so that they don't laugh. Because they'll be maybe they'll, they'll be using the eye of Bev and Vienna to look at me. Can you prime premier life? I don't know. Does anyone know if I can premier life? Does anyone know? I don't know. If I can premier life, it would be a very good idea. Oh, no, I never put that. Mm. 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 Your bra is better than mine this past two weeks. What are you talking about? Are you joking with me, Bev? Don't even joke with me. How can you say my bra is better than your... It's like you did not look at it well. This one is straight like this. With no... I should not be joking with me. These guys are just trying to pull my legs. You guys are making me feel better so that when I want to make up, I will not be ashamed to do so. How can you... <laughs> I, did, I wanted to go and wash my face before I started this video. I know we're here they talk. Wow, babe! Bev, <laughs> Bevelini, you are you serious or you are joking? These bras, go look at my bras now and before. Wow. So what happened? I don't know. I use that Miss Larry technique. Oh, I'm just trying to use it. That one that you have to use black as the how she does it. You guys know how Miss Larry does her bra. The black force and then the brown for filling in. I've watched you and Vienna a lot, a lot, but I feel like Miss Larry's uh, tutorial is more easy. My hand just come out. Really, babe? Hey, please, oh. My makeup guru, don't let your hand come out. Oh. I feel like, I feel like Miss Larry's uh, class for bra. I'm talking about mostly the bra. I feel like I really get it more. And I feel like if I keep watching Miss Larry's video of bra for two weeks straight, like I kept, I keep on practicing, it's going to get better. I draw my bra like Miss Larry. Yes, yes. I think so. African New TV is still here. God, I feel so honored. Seeing this man's uh, logo here, I feel so honored. I hope he's the one though, because I heard that people are using his name to go to people's channel also to do some things but i i hope he's the one and i'll be very happy if he's, if he's the one i taught my student miss larry style oh i'm busy baby but i'm here thank you daddy <laughs> thank you daddy i'm learning from my daddy <laughs> like whenever i go to his uh live stream i would laugh my ass and all of a sudden my hand come out wow that happens there. Eh? It almost happened to me when I was making wig. I I constantly was making closure, 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 closure. No frontal to a particular time that I wanted to make frontal and I almost it was like I forgot how to measure it. So it's true. Whatever thing you're doing always, if you just like stop a little bit, we'll find back my mojo. I trust you. I know what you can do. At us, my baby. Try call me today after your endless, okay? Okay, daddy. <laughs> okay, my daddy. I'm going to call okay. you, my daddy. Okay. Like, I don't know, guys. I don't know. You guys have not been to African New TV's live stream before. Love you, baby. Oh, yes, so my daddy. They are fine, they are fine. I think you guys have not been to African. Um, please, if you, if you guys want to join a membership, like consider because yeah. uh, i want to join his membership so if you guys want to join any membership on youtube because yeah, it has to be useful to joining a membership go to african new tv and join his own because is there now? for everything what banana oh wow oh, you yeah, know everything yeah. everything we have you uh, uh, it will show you the uh, right uh, way uh, even me that i'm going there as a Glory. baby huh? baby oh and all of that can we see your primer okay, wait, okay. First, just a moment just a moment. 
Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh. First of all, look. This is all I have. I'm trying to find the primer. Hey, the, hey babe, the primer. Powder has poured on it so much later. But I have, it's looking kind of messy. So this primer and fine. Pro ref, <laughs> refining anti shine base. Keep me mute. Mute. Long lasting oil free. It's, it's, I have, only way use that. I have powder all over it, so it's looking messy. So, Beth, this is it. The tissue is there. Use it to clean the body. Mm, no worries. She can see it. She's a makeup artist. She knows how this makeup okay, must stain. Knows. Okay. No, she said makeup must stain. She's a makeup artist. Who she knows. God bless you, my baby. Oh, yes, so my daddy. Oh, you guys should not forget to go to Africa New TV and join membership. Oh, you will not regret it. Beth, please go and join his membership. I know what I'm saying. Sister Algo, this evening I'm carrying all of you there. Let's go to African New TV. I don't know when his um his stream live stream will start. He always do live stream morning and evening. For this banana thing we are talking about and this watch hour and all of that, go to African. He will help you guys. He has really helped me a lot. So um, I know what I'm saying. For those of you who are asking me how far, what are, how are you doing? I wait, it's there. Go there. You will see what I'm telling you. Don't miss that place. <laughs> you will know. Genuine. Genuine ones are there. So, babe, this is it. What do you think? I don't know. Prime and fine. Did you moisturize your face? Yes. It's normal. Okay. I moisturize my face with my normal, um, what do you call it? My normal face cream. Please, if there's anything more you think I should have used, send it to me. I, my face, I have a very oily face, not skin. I have a very oily face. And I two things I notice. I notice that my makeup easily gets kind of white, one kind, that I don't like. That was one of the reasons why I stopped doing makeup. And another thing is that it easily gets oil. I don't know this brand of primer though. I got it from Primark a long time ago. I got it from Primark. If you have, do you have anyone in mind that you would want to advise me to use? Is there anyone in mind? Do you guys think I should use this hair to do a video? Should I do a video with this look today? I wanted to do a video about hair and youtubers and hair, hair, hair companies come i want to do that african new tv has given me something oh primark is a no-go <laughs> yeah i know it's true but like i said i'm learning so i felt like if i had if i bought the cheaper ones i can use it to learn and then later i can get the expensive one. okay for primer you can write me which one you think i, I should use especially when you're oily okay okay i'll think about that i'm going to make sure i do one video with this look today i'm going to do a video just right after this video i'm going to do a video i don't use any primer on my makeup but my makeup still stay long on my face primer you can buy your tools makeup brush okay but not makeup itself right okay it's coming from a professional yes ma they 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 have good lip liner okay then they have good lip liner okay she said the primer has good lip liner okay you were telling me that i shouldn't use eye pencil for my lip because it's not right it's not going to transfer as it's supposed to be but today i don't have eyeliner in all of this makeup here so what i did was that i first add a little bit of uh, lipstick so that it's a little bit wet so that the liner the eye pencil can you know I can manage loose powder from there. Okay. The rest of the makeup I bought, I bought from DM. But the name of some of the products I got from uh, 
is it Zaron, something like that. Zaron or something like that. So, guys, it's one hour, five minutes. It's time to say tschüss. Ciao, ciao. I meant lipstick and lip gloss, so not lip liner. Okay, okay, babe. Okay, no problem. Please send me any makeup brand that you think is not too expensive and you think I can also use. I used loose powder from Primark. It was like fufu on my face. <laughs> my stomach is very really nice. I use lip. Okay, guys, please tell me how does... This is the... Cha -cha. Babe, don't go yet. Don't go yet. This is my ex... My Samsung Note 10 Plus I'm using to stream with the camera facing my face. What do you guys think about the camera quality on your phones? Because you guys are the one who can tell me. What do you guys think? So I want to make a video. Should I wash up this makeup before I make the video? I should just make it like that. Is it that bad? Oh, it's manageable. Very clear. Grazie mille, amore mia, amore mia, tesoro mia, amore di mamma. <laughs> Bella, I'm singing for you. Bella, ciao, 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 Bella, ciao. <laughs> Let them not go and take down my video that I'm singing. Bella, ciao. Va bene, ragazzi. Ciao. Ci vediamo. Um, yeah, that's my class. Ci vediamo. No. Presto. No, 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 presto. Okay. Vuole dire che un attimo. Un attimo, I want to see Beth. Put powder on top to modify the face. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll do the video. God bless you. Always come for me. You look oily, nothing else. Okay, I'm going to try to put powder to do what you said now. And I'll do the video with this look. Maybe I'll just coil my hair. A little bit with coiling one i'll just define the hair a little bit with coily one to give it this look what do you guys think i'll just use coily one to do this only the down here just only this place it's gonna look nice right eh, eh. so let me speak italian for you guys before i go grazie mille ragazzi siamo finito <laughs> whenever i speak italian i feel I feel happy. Italian language is a language I love. I love it. Va bene ragazzi, ci vediamo la prossima settimana. Se tu volevo imparare, you, I want to go record a look too. Okay, babe. Is it live or you just want to record it for video? For video or live? So if it's live, I can come. Call me when you finish your LS because I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you. Va bene ragazzi, ciao, ci vediamo la prossima settimana, domenica, alle 5 di sera. Va bene ragazzi, ciao, ciao, un bacio grande. E... I also use white powder at the end. <laughs> ok guys, ciao.